we have set a new record. And today we're gonna set some records as well. Guys and girls, this is a video where we discuss on how to convince your coach on why you deserve more playing time. Now you can or you may choose not to use this advice in your football life. But, but then you don't want to play apparently. Exactly. So if you want to play, this is the stuff you want to listen to. We're talking Unisport Uncut episode 71. Say We're talking 10 minutes on the clock. Let's hit it. So, now, so, so you're in this situation, you're not playing. What do you do? Keep in mind that what we're going to tell you right now is uh, something you can do, but there's no guarantee that it's just going to be a quick fix and you're going to get in the team. But it's something that you can work on and hopefully gradually it's going to work. Just full disclaimer here. But cool. the first thing you can do is... That was lovely. I wanted actually to start by identifying the problem, which you did wonderful. Oh, thank you. I'm so proud thank of you. you. I'm so proud of you. you. Listen, the first thing you can do, and this is the easiest thing, and the best thing to do is to show up. <laughs> it sounds pretty daft, but actually, if you show that you're there, you're always available, you have the passion to be in the team, and you're actually showing up for trainings, because that's important too, then you will, it, it will be easier for your coach to justify selecting you in the team. So there are a lot of these teams when the rule is that, you know, if you don't show up for, for training, you don't play. Yep. So you want to always prioritize how you go to training, because, you know, if the coach always sees you, well, he wants to give a little bit of back. Look, man, showing up is the easiest thing you can do. You might suck, you know? You might have just started playing football, but if you always show up, always, uh -huh. no matter if you're having a bad day or if your teammates gave you five panas the previous practice and gave you a whole lot of crap and banter and you really don't feel like going, just show up, man. Like, nobody ever became good at anything unless they showed the F up. Like, and, 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 and by showing up, of course, also put in effort. Yeah, and, oh, you know, oh, of course, that be, goes without yeah, shape. Be, be active and, you know, put in an, an honest effort. Because look at the fact, you know, you might be the best guy on the team, but if you don't show off for training, then you're not in sync with your teammates. Yeah. And, you know, the, no one likes the guy who just comes in and feels good enough and plays in the weekend. Don't be that guy. Show off for training and, and it's going to be a lot easier. I can almost guarantee you that, trust me, this is true. Even CR7 himself might have days here and there, maybe once a month, where he doesn't feel like showing up. But yep. what does he do? He, he shows, shows the up. F up. Also because he's getting paid to show up. But, yeah, but, but you know. even that might not be enough sometimes. Like everybody has those days when you really don't feel like getting out of yeah. bed. But, but then look at it this way. If you don't show up, there's a serious risk that your coach will be less than impressed. So, so show up as much as you can. Of course, if you're sick, don't show up, but let your coach Giving the impression that no matter what happens, you're willing to push the boundaries to always be there, no matter what, because you prioritize the team so highly that then he should also, you know, you're one of the team players. You want him to think that, okay, you're always there for the team. So he wants to put you in it. And that's the point number two, being a team player. If you can, one way or another, make the team a better unit, yes. a more cohesive, you know, group, by any means necessary, you are valuable for the team. Football, until this date, remains and is a team sport. You know, this is not an individual game where nope. you can be nope. a complete butthole. I can't believe I just said that word. <laughs> <laughs> to all your competitors and so on. Football is a team game, man. Like, there are, it, it's only as good as the weakest link. And if you can somehow make the team better, the team, uh -huh. whether it's the team spirit or lifting your players up when you are one nil down, whatever you do, if you are a valuable uh, team player, the coach is gonna value and your efforts and skills highly. I couldn't have said that better. It's, it's all about, you know, again, you can look at the best player in the team, the one with the most skills, the one that scores the most goals. If you're not that player, well, you can be something else. There's always the need for, you know, the guy, the engine in midfield, or the simply the, the guy who rallies the troops, who, who motivates, who lets people know where they are. And if you're not good with the ball, talk, open your mouth, look, guide your teammates. You know, you might not get that much of the ball, but if you're playing and you're simply helping by strategizing on the pitch, you can be of more value than the guy who scores 20 goals per season. So, so it's, it's all about... Or you might even, in your coach's head, you might be the reason why that guy scores 20 goals Exactly. A season. So, so uh, you know, be a team player and then the next thing is understand your role. Because that kind of ties into the same thing. 
If you are not, the, should we say, the next Messi or Ronaldo or whatever, you might not be a super tackler, but you have one thing you're really good at. Understand that and appreciate that and finally embrace it. Let your coach know, hey, I am, I am, let's take Fellaini. <laughs> let's take Fellaini. We talked about Fellaini before. Uh, and, and, and you said, you know, Fellaini, he's, there's a lot of things he's not the best at. In fact, there's quite a lot. Yep. Yeah. But he's really, really good at being physical, at heading, at having a presence in the box, especially. Threat. Yeah, he's just a threat. And every time you slap him on, something happens. Good or bad, but something happens. <laughs> and, and that's just the thing. If you are that guy, you know that you are a limited footballer to some extent, but there's one thing you're very good at. Let him know, okay, you might not be, uh, you might not be starting, but if you're an impact sub, hey, if that's what you're good at. Listen, if you, if you are playing in a final, and your opponent has a really nasty and slick uh, number 10 role player, you can say, look man, I'm gonna be the makelele for this dude. I'm gonna counter him all the way up to the game. Like, I'm gonna follow him and I'm not gonna stop. Yeah. Maybe if you can show your coach that you can actually pull that off, he's gonna value you as that kind of role player. Yep. You know? I, I, well, I totally agree. And it's, it's like accepting that, you know, maybe you don't want to play left back, but if your strengths are to play left back and that's your way into the team, go and do it. Honestly, that's, uh, that's what you should Next do. Next point. And yeah. this honestly is the most important of them all. When you finally get some minutes, you need to perform. Like, life is actually really simple. Football is a, you know... It's, it's a, a performance sport. It's, it's a, a team sport, sport, but it's also a performance sport. The best players play. Like, in, a, in, a, in an ideal world, everybody will get the same amount of oh, minutes and well, everybody well. gets the gold medal and so on. But that's not real life. Like, sure, everybody has bad games and so on. But in general, like, you need, you need to play, man. Like, this is if the Mbappe got the chance when he was 17, 18, whatever, and he didn't play the damn game like the way he did, uh -huh. he wouldn't be the but, but, Mbappe but listen, right now. Put yourself in your coach's shoes. You know, if, if you have a player here who does not perform whenever I play him, why on earth should he play you? And don't take this as in, oh, there's huge amounts of pressure on, he's now finally playing me after being on the bench for so long, you should be shaking your pants, I need to perform. No, no, of course, it, 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 you know, he's gonna understand you, he might be a bit rusty, but show him that even if, if you know, your, your, your touch sucks, of course, that's a bad thing, but then show desire. You can perform in so many ways. Mm -hmm. One thing is by performing uh, skills-wise, scoring a lot of goals, making assists, overall playing technically well. But if you have a bad day, and even the best players have bad days, then perform on like a physical, mental level, on like an energy input level on whatever level but you need to perform one way or another it's it's the best thing you've said in a long time like if you don't play well how why on earth he should play you next week yeah i mean you you can you can put it like obviously this. like he can see you throughout the week in training sessions and so on yeah. and so on but but honestly when you play fifa and and you have you have you you set your team sheet and there might be a guy you like him a lot he's probably a nice guy he has a he has a good he has a good face shot he has a good bang. <laughs> yeah but there's a guy on the bench who has better stats. You want a speedy winger? The guy on the bench has more pace. You're gonna put him on the bloody pitch. That's the, you know, you gotta show your coach that you're the guy on the bench, you have better stats. Boom, there's more reason to play you. That, that's the single thing. But if you don't play, and that is the final thing. What if, what, what if you don't play? What if you don't really perform? Well, go to your coach, look him in the eye, and don't be like, you know, Oh, why am I not playing? I don't understand why you're such an idiot. But say to him, look, I can see I'm not playing. I'm really interested in playing. I will do anything. Tell me what I can do. And then you flipping have to go and do it. There are no excuses. If he tells you this is what you need to do, practice, practice, practice. Make it your top priority. And I guarantee you, he will be impressed. And you will also improve as a player. That's nice. Listen, man, if you're a right winger and normally that spot goes to Manio, oh. Manio Gonzalez. Okay, we can also, that sounds more. Manio Gonzalez. Yeah. You can ask Coach Riley and say, Wow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> are you why a bro is, with Coach why Riley? Why is Mr. Gonzalez starting in front of me? I'm, I feel like I'm faster than him. I feel like I can uh, provide more assists to my attackers. So on and so on. You, you, deep in your heart, might believe that you should be starting, which is rightfully correct. Every player should 
feel like that if they truthfully think so. My point is that you, sh you need to make your coach tell you what is it going to take for him to play you in front of Mr. Gonzalez. Yes. And, that's and then you need to work on those skills and show your coach that, look, man, I appreciate your inputs and I'm going to... Well, I'm, I'm gonna be willing to work on those damn skills and I'm gonna start next week. Mr. Gonzalez, you can stay I'm home. I'm coming for you. Coach I'm Riley, for you. play me. <laughs> what an ending. It, it couldn't have ended any better. I just want to give one more thing. Like the final uh, little extra nugget of advice. Do not be a douchebag. So when you, whenever you talk to a coach, whenever you talk to your teammates, and especially if you're looking to, if you're asking me, why am I not playing? Do not be a douchebag. Don't throw your toys out the pram. Be humble and be accepting of whatever feedback he gives you because he's the coach, he's got more experience, and he's probably right. And no matter what, he makes the course. So he's always right. Yeah. And you know, in in any area of life, it's good to like practice some like self knowledge, like yeah. you know, self-reflection, se self-awareness, like yeah. you know, be like honestly, be true to yourself. Like if you are, wow. <laughs> is seriously, this like, like if, if you are a right winger and Mr. Gonzalez is playing, and if deep in your heart, like oh, you know, this guy is five levels above you, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, then you have some work to do. But you, wow. know, you took a plunge in the deep end right here. This is getting. I mean, yeah. Wow. Okay. Again, guys, is this advice? You can do whatever you want to do, and remember, play better, train more, and show up. And this practice no every time. Don't guarantee. be late. <laughs> this is not a way to cheat yourself into the team. You no. have to you have to work, you have to train, you have to write, have the right mentality, and you have to perform. So there's no cheating. There's no like no. um uh, the, the short way around it. No, 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 no. And hopefully from this episode, like at least you got one thing out of this. You know? Hopefully. But hopefully. but what did you get out of it? Or do you have any additional advice? Just let us know in the comments section right down below where you can also tell us what you would like to discuss in the next Uncut. Now, of course, if you need to go and gear up to feel like you can perform a little better, you can go and buy everything you need from unisportstore.com right over there. If you want more advice on how to improve as a footballer, you can go click our subscribe button here with the notification bells on so you can see all our latest videos. And finally, go and learn some pretty wicked skills by clicking the playlist right down here with that. So guys, we're signing off.